Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Watch the video till the end. And if you're new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Friends, today we have a topic that is a prime cost, a topic that is a part of what we call as cost sheet. You know, prime cost is a part and parcel of a cost sheet. Let's try and understand that in a very detailed format. See, prime cost is the direct cost that has been incurred in the process of manufacturing a product and typically it includes direct production or direct production of the cost of goods including raw materials and direct labor costs so it is an essential part of the total manufacturing expenses as you know costing and effective pricing of the goods are primarily determined on its basis so it becomes a base for uh, determining uh, or determined on the base of that so it becomes a base for determining price including like major margins for the products that is to be sold in the market so it is a factor of uh, what we call as as a direct cost conversation conversion cost and manufacturing those costs or those are directly incurred in the actual production of the goods and any commission call as is paid to a salesperson or associate with the particular sales is added to the prime cost the raw material is the industry specific uh, component and it may vary according to the types of the goods produced so like a car manufacturer company of an automobile industry requires like tire uh, glass fiber rubber metal nuts poles and many other small tools as a raw material so while direct labor you know the same in all the industry and the wages uh, that have been paid for the workers who work uh, for manufacturing a car are also accumulated with the raw material cost to calculate the prime cost of the car now any sort of a uh, direct uh, indirect uh, cost like selling admin uh, advertisement overheads uh, is not a part of prime cost make sure okay I'll, now what i'll do is you know i'll give you the formula how exactly the prime cost works so the formula for the prime cost goes something like this. Prime cost is equal to raw material plus the direct labor that should be part of this. So prime cost is raw material plus the direct labor and how to calculate the prime cost. So, okay, I'll give you an example over here so that you know you may get an idea regarding how things are calculated. Let's take some examples to calculate prime cost. Let's say a hypothetical car manufacturing company in India has incurred some of the expenditures in let's say 2016 and 70 expenditures are like raw material consumption is there let's say of 7500 everything is in, in uh, rupees INR in crores then there is direct expenditures that is 4250 let's say there are some other manufacturing expenditures uh, that is 2400 the what we call as the indirect uh, expenditures is 3500 and the admin expenses that is 5250 there are some financial costs that it's fin cost standing at 1300 and depreciation let's say standing at 1800 when we combine all of this let's say to calculate the prime cost we have to take because of the raw material consumption and direct cost paid to the workers so in the prime cost example let's say suppose 3200 are paid towards the direct labor just writing here let's say direct labor has been paid over here 3200 are been paid towards the direct labor the cost out of the entire direct if you apply the prime cost formula here let's find out the uh, the number over here the prime cost formula will be raw material plus direct labor right so raw material is 7500 and we need to add direct labor that is 3200 so no other expenditure will be added over here you need to note that you know over here one crore one crore is equal to 10 million okay so that's gonna be the thing let's let me take another example example number two let's get into more details let's take another example calculate the prime cost over here of hypothetical furniture manufacturing company like you know who has incurred for some of the expenditures for completion of that assignment which are as follow there are five labor work who have worked for let's say 30 days uh, labor charges are let's say 1000 per labor day per labor per day and then there is wood that has 100 sheets at the rate a cost of 1500 per sheet right and uh, let's say there's a thing called glue which is uh, 50 kg uh, at the rate of cost of 250 uh, per kg that's this is all the data that we have so we hear the prime cost is what raw material plus direct labor so let's add up the details here it's 100 sheets right into 1500 so that will be in one bracket 100 sheets into 1500 uh, close the bracket we'll open another bracket with 50 glue that is 50 kg into what we call as uh, five labor work tasks into the price uh, the, the number of days that is 30 
So uh, when we add up the formula, which is uh, the raw material, which is this part, we have over here multiplied the 50 kg plus into into the number of hours that have been worked, five labor hours into number of days. So that will give us direct labor. So our final answer over here, we need to put 150 over here because uh, wood that is over here, that's been used 100 into 15,000, 1500. So that's going to be 150. So the final answer is 307500. So for industry like furniture, wood and glue are treated as basic raw materials and a skilled labor is required for making the customized furniture as per the customer needs. So without that, the furniture could not be produced and you know, it can be turned into finished goods. So it cannot be turned. So here the 100 sheets of wood are used at a cost of uh, 1500 per sheet and 50 kg of glue is used as at the rate of cost of 250 per kg so then the five works workers for 30 days at a cost of 1000 per worker per day hence we multiply all of this to calculate the amount of the direct labor cost so the summation of the cost is nothing but the prime cost so this is your prime cost now what exactly is important points you know i, mean, I want to discuss some of the important points regarding direct cost we have taken only direct labors or direct labor costs out of the entire direct expenditures to calculate the prime cost because you know various other costs may be involved in direct expenditure like you know carriage and wood now we have and and frights you know all other expenditures are a part of indirect expenditures so right and they are neglected at the time of calculating the prime cost so a direct labor cost can say that a direct labor cost is a cost that is needed to convert a raw material into finished good and it includes all the cost to convert the raw material into finished goods except you know the cost of the raw material okay and simply it includes the direct labor dl and the overall manufacturing overheads right third you know production department also uses the cost as an important tool to effectively frame their costing budgets and implement the overall production process within the ambit of the budget so it also specifies the what we call as the scope of improvement and in the entire production line to reduce the cost of production by using economies of scale uh, management then analyzes the market determines the customer demand and paying capacity competitors pricing other strategies to enhance the what we call as sub of the products while offering the minimum minimum selling price of the goods right so they find they find break even by selling price you know set margins on the products and below that you know price manufacturing and selling products would not be beneficial to the company now there are six reasons that will influence the prime cost the first one is the inflation inflation basically it increases the cost of raw material that's very natural and the there are there are five there are few elements that will influence the prime cost first is the inflation uh, second is the shortage of uh, supply that is another reason then we have third as the regulatory actions fourth is taxes these are all the factors that are going to affect fifth is the technology part and sixth is the exchange rates right all of this so let me conclude now primary prime cost is the core production and cost which includes direct uh, raw materials and direct labor cost this is completely variable in nature as it is a major component of the cost of goods sold so being a direct manufacturing expert expense it is directly related to the number of the sales unlike like fixed costs it may be changed according to the production targets of the company so that's it for this particular topic if you have learned and you know liked the video if you think that you know if you have uh, enjoyed and learned watching this video please like comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates thank you everyone cheers